Disco made a comeback, so did mini skirts. So why shouldn't roller derby rise again? LA was the epicenter of this rough and tumble sport back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And now a group of Southern California women want to bring the cult phenomenon back. Call it wrestling on wheels. The world famous Los Angeles Thunderbirds ruled the rig back in the heyday of roller derby. The women proving they could roll with the punches just as well, if not better, than any man. It's gonna be wiped out the pack. Now get ready for an eight wheel revolution of the 21st century. <laughs> They're called the Derby Dolls. I come out here and I can I can knock people around and then I can yell and I can scream. <laughs> I can just kind of be a jerk if I want to, which is part of the fun. The Derby Dolls are a campy burlesque show of music, muscle, roller skates, and fishnets. It's part fun, part rock'em sock'em workout. Everybody's bodies have changed so much. It's crazy. My legs have changed so much. All the girls' bodies have completely changed for the better. Here we go. The Derby Dolls are not affiliated with the T-Birds. They're a startup operation, still raising money for a banked track. But the Dolls hope to compete against roller derby leagues in Texas and Arizona by the end of the year. Come on, girls, grab the primary line. Catch up. Let's go. Let's go. Coach Brian Blade Gallagher sees unlimited potential in his fearless group of women. They have the aggression, the natural aggression, which it takes a certain person to do. They're really like punk attitude, rock and roll, and they're taking that on the track. So once their skating catches up with their attitudes, it's just going to be outrageous. Fractured elbows. We have a broken wrist, lots of big bruises. Thank God so far, no broken teeth yet. But battle scars are a badge of honor in a game where it's good to be bad. It swelled up pretty big, so I stayed for the rest of the practice. I couldn't leave. It was, we were having so much fun. And when these women get rolling for good, expect nothing but a wild ride. How often in my life do I get to run around in short shorts and fishnets and knee pads? <laughs> you gotta love it. The T-Birds are still practicing and hoping to compete again soon. The Derby Dolls, meanwhile, are still looking for a few good women. If you have what it takes to be a rowdy roller girl, Log on to abc7.com and we'll link you to the Derby Dolls website. Go yeah. Derby Dolls. <laughs> Dallas, you're a fan of the uh, roller derby. Man. Yeah, I saw Michelle practicing just a little while ago. <laughs> yeah, She's right. getting ready <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> You, used to, you were riveted to that stuff uh, when well, you were a little boy. When I was a kid, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's coming back, buddy. LA's premier all girl track roller derby league. Tonight we'll show you how they can be hell on wheels. Bloody lips, broken bones, bruised up knees, all in a day's work for LA's Derby Dolls. Once they really see what's going on, I don't know if, you know, they can handle it. Their motto, no pain, no gain. It's not about being tough, it's about being able to take pain. It's part of the job. You gotta embrace all your bruises, their badges, wear them proudly. It's an all-girl roller derby team, They're putting a fresh spin on the old sport, but don't let their fishnets and garter belts fool you. They mean business. There's nobody out there who doesn't want to hit hard. Despite the tough dudes, these gals are pals. The best part of derby is the camaraderie. Derby Dolls coach Brian Gallagher says it may look rough, but they're playing by the rules. I'm very strict on the rules, and I want these girls to be seen as athletes by playing a legitimate sport, but at the same time having fun. And wherever they go, they wow the crowd. I love it. There's a bunch of hot girls beating the, beating the crap out of each other. What could be better than that? That one chick that lost her tooth, that chick's like amazing. Derby Dolls is like so sweet. Let's go round of applause for the Derby Dolls, ladies and gentlemen. To learn more about the L.A. Derby Dolls, you can log on to our website, fox11.com. You guys like the girl that lost the tooth? Uh, she was a, she's a fan favorite. She <laughs> certainly was. Don't think she, I think she has to wait a while before she kisses anybody, though. I'd like to buy a franchise, a Derby Doll franchise, maybe. Bet you would. Become a sport. It's, that's like we were talking. You know, I think that's a good job when you own a professional <laughs> a team, sports a franchise. Team. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just Especially saying, maybe I should start with the Derby Dolls. Got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. Oh, NFL isn't going to be the start, that's yeah, for sure. That's right, apparently not.
It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Osgood. The new TV show Roller Girls on A&E makes the case as well as anything we know. What goes around really does come around, as our Lee Cowan now demonstrates. Take a date and see them skate at the Roller Derby. There was a time when roller derby ruled the ring, when fans stacked the stands and cheered till their throats went raw. Where you find everyone having barrels of fun, yes you will. Hey, there goes something! The roller derby was, by anyone's account, an event. This is Ken Nidell, ready to bring you another thrilling roller derby. There was roller radio back in the 40s. Force and fury, rolling thunder. And by the time TV turned color... Hard-hitting roller skating excitement with the International Roller Skating League. The increasingly rowdy roller derby was drawing near sellout crowds to arenas, like the Oakland Coliseum, even Madison Square Garden. These girls are going at it. See a big fat tumble on, you can't skate any better than you look! It was making the silver screen, too. Remember Raquel Welch in Kansas City Bomber? The sport had found a following, or a following had found it. Either way, people were coming for more than just the slams and jams. Ann Calvello of the Southern Stars, the baddest mama in bank track history. They were coming to see the stars. Ann Calvello, lady high executioner of the Midwest pioneers. Even superstars, like San Francisco's Ann Calvello. The lead is a penalty called on Ann Calvello out there. That's her in the yellow, back in the mid-70s. Women are stronger than men, really. I, Mentally. Today, most, she's in her 70s die. and as feisty as ever. <laughs> this was in the late 60s. Yeah, about the late 60s. Yeah. Are you getting hit 70s. there? Well, we're not playing tiddlywinks. I don't know. You, you've got... You... That she wasn't. Calvello coming in the back of the pack now. Over the course of her seven decades of derby, she suffered 12 broken noses, four broken elbows, a broken collarbone, broken tailbone, cracked ribs, and a host of things she'd rather not think about at age 76. But boy, was she good. I jumped from the floor at a dead standstill and landed on her. Landed on her? Well, I knocked her down and she didn't get out of the way. Too bad. If it was me, I'd be under her. <laughs> what do you think this is, marbles? <laughs> but as popular as she was, as popular as the sport was, roller derby was one of the casualties of the 70s. And I said then, I says, roller derby's over, it had its run, and no matter who tries to start up or any other leagues or anything, it's not going to be the same. There were various roller reincarnations, like this one back in the late 90s called Roller Jam. It was fast-paced, it was flashy, it was even sexy, but it, like all the others, went the way of the four-wheeled skate. But derby fans are diehards. And where there's a rink, there's resolve. This time, they're bringing back roller derby with a twist. No men allowed. This is all women's roller derby in Austin, Texas. A sport heavy on tattoos and light on lingerie. Uncensored and undignified on purpose. You see girls rolling around and fighting and having a blast, man. But pretty risque. My mom thinks I'm insane, and my dad thinks it's kind of cool, actually. Like the original, players score points by passing members of the opposing team. And just like the original, it can get pretty brutal. Believe it or not, there are rules, although they're kind of hard to figure out. And if you break the rules, you also get punished, believe it or not. That punishment? A roll down Spank Alley, where paddle-wielding fans rule the penalty box. Brenda Delaney is a first-time spectator visiting from Laramie, Wyoming. She wasn't quite sure what to make of it all. Do you think this would fly back in Laramie, Wyoming? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Sociologists would no doubt have a field day with these four-wheeled follies. It is a great case study in alter egos because every roller queen has a rink name and a rink persona, which we found are usually worlds apart. I got my degree in biochemistry. Take Virginia Evans, for example, a lab assistant, 
who is just looking for a way to blow off a little steam. I do get to get a lot of my aggression out. It's better than over here, so they keep it on the rink. <laughs> on the rink, she's known as Cheap Trixie. Not a name her mom might be proud of, but a perfect one for a sport where we're talking fishnets, not hairnets. Then there's Teresa Pappas, a button-down network administrator who spends most of her days in relative solitude. As a woman in this position, I try to be as professional as I possibly can. But on the rink, she's known as Betty Rage. Anything where you physically exert yourself gets your impressions out. But this is like even more fun because you get to like knock people down. None of them get paid, just bruised. I kind of like have that mantra in my head when I get out there, like be mean, be mean, hit people. <laughs> Annie Buchanan Clary, who normally works for an AIDS organization, is known as Dirty D. With a name like that, perhaps it's not surprising that she's been sidelined with a detached retina. Yeah. Such is life when you play a, an, an S4 where you get the crap beat out of you, right? <laughs> it's all action that fans are willing to pay to see, and not just in Texas. There are now leagues all over the country. Come on. Yeah. In fact, the all-women's team in Los Angeles, the Derby Dolls, were just featured on a recent episode of CSI New York. Oh! All this recent popularity is all bringing roller rinks much-needed revenue and even respect. And just like before, it's the stars that bring them through the door. Did you see me out there? Are you try that. People like Amy Sherman otherwise known as Electra Blue, who makes no apologies for their conduct, their dress, or their attitude. I think it's very ladylike, actually. I think it's very, I find it very empowering, you know, as a woman out there to be strong and be athletic. I'm a lady most of the time. I can uh, be a kick-ass woman uh, on the track for the weekend, you know. Whispers of the past from a sport that was hardly ever quiet. You're not supposed to be ladylike out there. I'm not out there. I would have went in the ice follies. <laughs> And no one is beaming more broadly than Ann Calvello. Each one of these young ladies that are doing this now got a little bit of me in them. So say what you will about the fights, the fans, and the fishnets. However you look at it, roller derby still seems to be a sport with legs in more ways than one. athletic, competitive sport um, by women, for women, where skater owned and operated. Go, go, Gucci! It's a full contact sport. It's really hard hitting. It's Crystal Death coming through for a touch for Tears, trying to go on the inside. We want to be taken seriously as athletes, and we're very athletic, but we want to look cute while we do it. And Melissa Candy and Joe, you're going to be in the next jam. We have lots of women here who are into tattoos, punk music sort of, I think, has to do with DIY culture and people coming from those kind of backgrounds and movements and scenes being attracted to a grassroots sports movement. Help her out! Help her out! We see a lot of injuries. I've got shins that's really bad. Broken collarbones, broken arms, broken legs. We had one girl who, on her very first practice, came out and broke her leg. Her skate name is now actually Broken Legacy. On other sports, uh, you may get hit and fall down, but in this sport, you can actually fall flying down into the infield and fall on the concrete. <laughs> Kick some ass, ladies. This sport is really excellent because it's good for all body types, all sizes, short, tall, everything. This is a great sport for women who don't fit into the stereotypical women's sports. Let's get back to the roller derby. It always exceeds our fans' expectations, and when they see us out there competing, it's thrilling, it's exciting. There really isn't any other sport like it. Once you've hit another girl on skates, 
you can't go back.